Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Brandon Lindsay, and today we're gonna to be talking about the monthly expenses of running a trucking business. Uh, this is a popular question that's out there, so I thought I'd just put a quick video together. Maybe it helps somebody out who's trying to get started in trucking and who wanna know uh, a little bit more about what expenses to expect uh, as they begin a trucking operation. Okay, uh, but before I get started, let me just say that every trucking operation is different. There's so many different types of equipment and trailers and so many different ways to run a trucking business. Uh, but these are just some of the things that I think about. Here's some of the typical things that I see. Uh, but again, you could have more, you could be, you could have more uh, or you could have less. Uh, but either way, uh, just let me know down in the comments uh, what are some of the expenses that you see. All right, so before we get started, let me just give you a little bit about how I think about the monthly expenses of a trucking company. You pretty much have two different types of expenses. Uh, you have your fixed expenses, which are your overhead expenses, and then you have your variable expenses. Now your fixed expenses, these are the expenses that do not move based on how much the truck ran or how hard the truck ran that month. For example, uh, these are the type of expenses that will not change at all if you run no miles or if you run, you know, 3,000 miles that month. These expenses won't change. Then you also have the variable expenses. The variable expenses, those are the expenses that are going to change and going to go up and down depending on how hard the truck is running for that month. There's a third category, just some other expenses that I'll talk about as well. Um, but let's just go ahead and get started. And we'll start with the the overhead expenses now some of the typical overhead expenses that you're going to see are your truck payment and your trailer payment Now you may or may not have a loan or you may or may not be paying off a truck or a trailer, but if you do, those would fall under the overhead expenses because again, you're gonna have to pay that note no matter what, whether if you ran a thousand miles or no miles that month, you're still gonna have to pay your truck and trailer payments uh, for that month, okay? The next one, this is a big one, and I'm sure you've heard of this. This is your insurance. Now again, your insurance is a fixed cost. Doesn't, it doesn't matter how much you ran that month, it's gonna be the same amount whether you ran a lot or a little. So that's your insurance. The next one that I think about is parking. Now when I'm talking about parking here, I'm talking about, this is just the, like the monthly fee that you pay uh, to store your truck and your trailer when it's not on the road. All right. And then the next one, next few we're gonna talk about are uh, some of the monthly subscriptions that you're gonna have. And one of them is for your ELD. That's for your logs. So you got your ELD subscription. And again, that's typically a monthly fee. Uh, and then the next subscription you'll have will be for the load board. There are multiple load boards out there, so you could be paying a subscription for one, two, three, just depends on how many load boards you subscribe to. The next item would be like your phone bill. Next we have something, depending on how big your operation is, you may be operating outside of your house where you have an office. So this would be like your office rent if you're renting like a small office space. Again, that's a fixed expense because it doesn't matter how hard the truck ran or if the truck ran at all, that expense is still gonna have to be paid no matter what. Now this next one, Again, this depends on your operation. This would be if you have any type of salaried office staff. Uh, I know some 
owner operators out there and some small trucking companies, they may have an assistant or somebody that handles all the back office or paperwork. You may or may not have that, but again, that's another expense that is not going to change based on how hard the truck is running or not. You're gonna owe all of these expenses um, no matter how hard the truck ran that month, okay? So now let's talk about some of the variable expenses. Now these are the expenses that are gonna go up and down depending on how hard the truck runs. So the first variable expense that I have on here is a dispatcher. Now you may or may not be using a dispatcher. You may or may not, you may be booking all your loads yourself. But if you're using a dispatcher, typically a dispatcher gets a percentage of what? Gets a percentage of the load. So the more loads you move, the higher that dispatching uh, amount that you pay is going to be for that month. Okay, so if you don't run any loads, there's not going to be any dispatching fees that month. Now the next one is going to be driver pay. If the drivers don't work, they don't eat. So if you didn't run your truck that month, then the drivers don't get paid. So there would be no uh, pay for the driver that month. Now, if you ran really, really hard and you were running all month long, then your driver pay for the month is gonna be really, really high because you've, your revenue should be uh, really, really high as well. The next one I have is fuel. Pretty self-explanatory, but the same idea, right? If you're, the more you run, the harder you run, the more fuel you're gonna burn, the higher the fuel expense is gonna be for that month. The next one is factoring. And if you don't know, factoring is when you, uh, when you have an agreement with the company to get paid faster for your invoices. So again, the harder you run, and if you are factoring, the more factoring fees you're gonna have because if you're running harder, you should be making a lot more money. So those fees would be higher as well. Okay, so that's the factoring if you do use a factoring company. The next variable expense is scales. The next ex variable expense you can have is trip permits. Now these are typically gonna be for OD loads. If you don't know what that is, so those are the permits that you would have if you're moving oversized loads, over dimensional loads, you gotta get special permits uh, to move those kind of loads to get that higher paying freight. Uh, and the permit fees for that are gonna be variable because again, they're gonna be higher uh, if you're moving more OD loads that month, okay? And then we have tolls. Then another variable expense, this is a big one. This is your repair and maintenance, oil changes, engine work, truck washes, uh, things like that, tires, uh, anything to keep your equipment operational and functional. Uh, that's gonna vary typically based on how hard you're running. So it'll vary if you're running hard, harder. If you're running harder, you may have higher repairs and maintenance uh, that month, all right? And then another one could be truck supplies. Now, here I, I have truck supplies and I'm talking about things like this is for all my flat betters, all my hot shot guys out there. Um, this could be things like straps, tarps, chains, um, that sort of thing that you keep on the truck. The next thing that I have is tickets. <laughs> So you could incur tickets out there when you're running, which is a variable expense, it's not fixed, but I'm gonna scratch it off because you do not get a tax deduction for tickets. The IRS will not give you a tax break for breaking the law, but it is an expense that your business still could occur. So tickets. 
And this is for all my people. The next couple are for my people who are running OTR. So this could be, you know, parking at the truck stop if you have to pay for parking at the truck stops. That's a variable expense. Another expense could be food or your per diem. Again, this is for my owner operators out there who are over the road. The IRS does give you a per diem, sort of a daily amount uh, for food. Uh, so when you're out on the road, you could have food expenses when you're OTR. And another one could be hotels, okay? So again, these are all expenses that are going to vary, meaning they're gonna go up or down depending on how the truck is running that month. All the fixed expenses or the overhead expenses do not go up and down based on how the truck is running. So those are the two uh, big type of expenses that you need to be aware of um, when you are thinking about getting into trucking and becoming an owner operator uh, with your own authority. Here are just some of those expenses. Then I have another category of other, and you know these are things that you do pay. They, not, they may not be paid every single month, but there are some things to look out for. So I just wanted to just throw them in this video as well. Uh, and there's gonna be like your plates. And then how could we forget about taxes? You know, you got your IFTA that you pay quarterly. Again, depending on your operation, you could have 2290 as well. And then last but not least, you got your income taxes. And another expense that I want to put on here this is a fixed expense, and this is going to be in the overhead section. Accounting. This is, I recommend this to be a monthly service that you're paying somebody to help you keep all this sorted out and keep all this straight. So, you know, you may be paying an accountant a monthly fee to help you with all that. So I just wanted to put a quick video out there together. I know some people, you know, when they're getting started or looking into the trucking, just want to have an idea of what are some of the monthly expenses that could be coming their way. Again, this may may not be everything, but here are just some things that I thought about. If you, like I said earlier, if you have some more, you can leave a comment and let me know uh, what are some other expenses I'm missing. But just wanted to put a quick video out there for you guys, and I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to hit the thumbs up and give it a like, and I will see you in the next video.